Hey guys, how are we doing? Firstly, let me just say sorry about the windy noise today. It is very, very windy out in the field. I shouldn't have really bought the 3DR out to fly it, but I had to. Reason being is I've got myself an Android tablet finally. Finally got myself an Android. I got myself an Asus ZenPad, a seven inch tablet. So I can finally get the Solex app, which I've already downloaded. And I just had to come out and quickly test it. We will go over the app a bit more in more detail on another video but i just wanted to get out and quickly test the solax up a little bit and see how it goes so let's get the bird up in the air solo's all ready to fly controller's connected the android tablet is connected as solo so i'm just going to quickly go into here as you can see i've also got the tower app guys which we'll also go over in another video i haven't got to hang of it myself at all yet but let's go straight into the solex app instead of the solo app and see what this is all about I have had a little look in this last night when I was at home but I thought I should put it on the video so there you go connected to solo link and very similar to the solo app but if you've seen other reviews of the Solex app it is a lot more detailed and you can do a lot more features as well really so I'm just going to hit the fly button quickly get up in the air it's very windy today so i just want to get a quick flight out the way and then we're going to wow look at that guys you can see me walking around but wow there's so much more details you've got your distance your altitude it's saying it's in loiter mode my battery's currently at 61 percent tells me my transmitter strength speed gps satellite voltage time in the air i guess wow it gives you a lot on this you can put grids on if you wanted so i will go over this a lot more in detail later Ooh, let me just pick my camera and make sure i've got the right camera there you go so but yeah that's it we've got a little dog coming Come on. Let's just put that back down there. Sorry about that, guys. I am obviously in a park, not people walk their dogs, so just had a little dog walk in again. It's gone back into searching GPS, but that's obviously because I picked up the drone. It's got 10 satellites. It should go into allow me to fly soon. There we go. So like I say, where will we? I'll go into the app a lot more in detail when I'm at home. I'll get one of them recording things, which I've actually already downloaded. I'll record the actual screen of the Android device and we'll go through a lot more. But there is a lot of videos already out there anyway, but I'll also do my own one. Um, so let's get it up in the air and see what it's like. So we hold fly to take off. And we will hold fly to let it up and take it up in the air. There she goes. See us take it up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is quickly hit record. It actually tells me she's recording. So I'm going to take it forward a little bit. And let's just see how stable Solo is at the moment because it is very windy. At least 15 miles an hour today guys if not more maybe just under 20 mile an hour winds today but as you can see solo is coping quite well very steady in the air that's the one good thing about solo if i had the hubson up here right now she'll be all over the place left right and center but let's get back to this app let's take it out Woo! yeah it's a bit very windy out there we're just gonna have a quick flight have a look at this app I do like the app, I must say. Press an arrow here. Hopefully you guys can see the screen. I haven't got a sunshade for this yet, but let's put the grids on. Yeah, it's very, very windy. Solo is very shaky. But it's still coping with it, just about, I'd say. There we go. It's 
to be honest, I don't think I'm going to keep her up in the air too long. I haven't had enough fun with this bird yet to risk losing it, to be honest. Okay. Let's see, look. Gives me, I've been in the air for 1 minute 55 seconds so far. I like that. It's got a lot more features. Obviously, I need to go through this app in a lot more detail. It's got so much to it. But for now, I am very happy. Let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on the screen. It's got full telemetry, heads up telemetry, as I would probably call it. A bit like a fighter jet. I like it. That's quite cool indeed. I like that. Check another function quickly. So I'm going to map view. Oh, I haven't loaded up the map, so I'm not sure if I'll have where I am now. It's loaded up where my house is, so I'll come out of map view. Well, there you go, guys. This was just a quick video. Well, it, was a, it wasn't really going to be a video. I just thought I'd put it on video anyway. But it was just me quickly testing the Solex app, Solex app myself, sorry and seeing what it's all about and to be honest so far i like it a lot more than the 3dr solo app yes the 3dr solo app is very good has a lot of features in it very simple very easy to use but this seems like you could do a lot more have a lot more literally details and everything in front of you and also my seven inch tablet is a lot better screen than my iphone 7. Uh, I'm happy with that. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to be subscribed because I'm going to be having more in-depth videos coming on the Solex app as well as some autonomous flight with the Tower app. That is one I really can't wait to get a hold of and get into and learn how to use it. But as I learn, I will show you guys as well. So please be make sure to subscribe. And if, this, if you like this video, you liked any of my videos, guys, give it a thumbs up and I'll hopefully catch you in the next. Bye.